Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your first gameplay and overview straight from the Kings of Battle dev server for the brand new top level jet for the Germans, the MiG 29G. This is a currently battle rating 12.3 rank 8 fighter again for the German air tech tree. This is pretty much equivalent to a uh, German MiG-29 SMT. It's got R-73s, it's got the R-29ET if I'm not mistaken, I think that's what it is. R-27ET, my apologies for that, but more or less it's about the same. Interestingly, this does have better engines. You might be wondering, hey, well if it has better engines, why is the climb rate a little bit worse than the standard MiG-29? Well, when I say better engines, Engines, I don't really mean by all that much. So these have 39, 30, and 68, 30 KGF for max thrust and afterburner thrust, respectively. Whereas the standard MiG-29, get ready for it, drum roll please, has 39, 20. So this has 10 KGF more in terms of both thrust and afterburner thrust compared to the standard MiG-29. So it is a little bit better in terms of its max thrust, but uh, marginally. <laughs> so that being said, I mean, this thing is pretty much just going to be a uh, a decent enough vehicle, at least when it comes to air to air. Uh, when it comes to ground attack, of course, it really doesn't have all too much. I mean, it's still usable. Don't get me wrong. Like this is not a terrible loadout, but it's also not all that impressive. So, you know, I mean, it's one of those planes that when you're playing CAS, you can maybe get a kill or two versus ground targets, but primarily you're going to be trying to clear the sky with your missiles. But that being said, let's go ahead, get into a few matches, see how this thing performs. I've got a feeling it's going to perform just like you would expect a MiG-29 to perform, more so an SMT, but who knows? This is the new G on the block. That said, let's get into it. So something that's really, really important to remember here, this is the dev server. We are exclusively facing bots and also related to the dev server, every single thing, whether it's stats, weapons, models, anything, they're all subject to change and then some. This is the time where they do it. They want to make sure that the models are good. And as such, again, they are subject to change. Now, that being said, if I have not already mentioned it, ooh, let's see, can I get him? Oh my, I got close. Uh, okay, you know, I'm just gonna go fire the, uh, T. Now, this does have the helmet-mounted display, which is really nice. Uh, but the missiles here are going to be pretty much the same as what you see on the SMT. Uh, and when I say pretty much the same, I mean functionally they are the same. I think the R-27 has a slightly different name. It's got the R-27, or not the R-27, but rather the R-73. It's the R-73ET that we have for the Germans, which is cool. This one, I should be able to hit him. Right? Got him! Very nice. Now, the R-73E and the R-73, they are functionally the same. I think the R-73E is literally the only difference there is that that is a... Uh, you know what? I'm going to try to fire on this guy. Is that it is an export variant. Kind of like how the MK, the R-60MK is uh, versus the R-60M. Um, so, I mean, there's there's not really too much difference in that regard. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, overall, this thing functions more or less about the same as a MiG-29. So, it's got... It, I would say that this is a really good turn fighter in a world in which turn fighting means less. Uh, might be a, a good way to put it. So, I mean, it's got fantastic missiles. The R-73s have thrust vectoring. Uh, I mean, like, they're not absolute, like, god-tier missiles. They can be fooled pretty easily by flares. Uh, but... Ooh, that was ugly! But, overall, I mean, they are pretty damn solid. So, uh, obviously, this is pretty much just like a MiG-29 SMT. You know? Uh, unfortunately, it's pretty much it. And this entire update has felt like, for the most part, I mean, like, you have some exceptions... Like the F-111 Aardvark, you have the, I think the Blackhawk is coming into game. Maybe some other variants of vehicles, but like there's not really many new vehicles coming to War Thunder this update. Like, for the most part, it's copy-paste and even some of the non-copy-paste vehicles are just variants, you know. Um, so it's just, it's a little bit eh in that regard. It, it kind of sucks. Uh, this update, like, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for it, but... Honestly, like, when I was doing the dev server overview, which, by the way, if you guys want, 
definitely go ahead and check that out. I have pretty much every vehicle, at least that I could remember or see, that uh, is coming to the War Thunder, you know, the, the next major update, and is present in the dev server. I've pretty much covered all of them. So, uh, that being said, I do have uh, something really stupid here. I decided to equip four napalm bombs and uh, see what that can do. So I just dropped three on that. I don't know if that's going to be sufficient to destroy it. I hope it is. But uh, yeah, never ever do this. Like, if you have a MiG-29, don't equip napalm bombs. It's stupid. Also, it looks like we have some actual enemies. Um, wow, these are not doing anything excess. Are they? They are... They're really hardly doing any extra damage. Wow! They are not really functioning like napalms. But anyways, this newest update just doesn't really feel like it's, um... All too impressive, to be quite honest with you guys. And it's unfortunate, you know? I, I really wanted something kind of, um... A bit better. But, you know, at the end of the day, pretty much all, um... October updates... Like, last year was actually a pretty big October update. This year, obviously, not so much. The year before, it was, like, 20-something vehicles. But, again, like, we have, like, what? Five different um, M109s coming to War Thunder? That's not much. You know, I mean, like, those are just copies of the same exact vehicle. Really? These bots are starting to get, like, really freaking testy. Let's hope I can get him. That's an R-73, by the way. Perfect. Look at that thrust vectoring. But again, like, it, it just kind of sucks because we're getting, like, four or five different M109s, and they're all counting, like, they are going to count in War Thunder's eyes as new vehicles. You know? And that, that, that just kind of sucks. It kind of feels like cheating in a way. Wow, this guy can still fly. Man, this Aldrich guy is all over me. Holy guacamole. But I'm probably going to lose here. I can't imagine a, uh, a win. So, I'm just gonna go fire that, uh, that missile at a really extreme angle. He started flaring because he's not stupid. And I'm gonna probably be shot down by this bot who is just incessant on trying to kill me. But, either way, you know, I mean, just let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I mean, this is a very short dev server video. And the reason being is, quite simply, I mean, what is there to go over? This is a MiG-29 SMT, but for the Germans, essentially. Uh, as much as I hate to say it, and that's just kind of it. You know, I mean, like, this is basically a MiG-29 SMT. The, you know, there's like five different variations of the M109, and you can bet that, like, the War Thunder Wiki is going to say, oh yeah, no, five new vehicles were added instead of, really, it's just one. Uh, so it kind of sucks. You know, it, it really kind of sucks in that regard. There's not really nearly as many vehicles as you might think. And it's just, you know, like the T-54E2. I would consider that, eh, you know, I mean, it's a premium, but even though it's a variation on a vehicle, there's enough differences where there had to be model changes, there had to be this, that, and the other thing, where it was like actual changes, you know? But the MiG-29G, with the exception of, like, a slightly different, uh, wow, you got killed by the bot. With the exception of a slightly different, uh, look on the model, eh, again, it's pretty much an SMT. So that being said, look, oh, wow, Aldrich is about to kill me. <laughs> this guy is angry! Got him! That's what you get for trying to chase me for, like, five bajillion, uh, bajil bajillion, bajillion! light years but yeah either way thanks so much for watching if you don't mind please consider liking commenting subscribing i know if this this match in particular was more or less just me kind of going over my um issues with this update it just doesn't really seem like it's all that uh all that impressive unfortunately by the way thanks so much again and i will see you all on the other side hopefully december is better and hopefully there are more vehicles that are going to be coming in this update before the December update. Take care, everyone.